Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create an advanced seamless pattern like this inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do when creating this kind of seamless pattern is to create your canvas. My canvas is a square, but despite what many other videos are telling you, it does not have to be a square if your illustrations for some reason does not fit well in a square. But I have found that a square sized 500 by 500 pixels is a good way to start. When you have created your canvas, you want to load in or draw your objects or illustrations that you want to use for your pattern. In my case, I have loaded in a few Halloween illustrations from earlier tutorials I have made on this channel. When your illustrations are drawn or loaded in, we want to start by filling out the sides of the square. First we want to work on the left side. Now take your illustrations and place them so they spill out at least a little bit over the left side of the square. Now place the rest of your illustrations. Now the important thing when doing a seamless pattern swatch is that everything that spills out of the side of the canvas has to be copied to the opposite side of the canvas over here. So as you see I placed the skull on purpose so that it spills out both on the left side and also at the top just to show you what to do in this case. So because it spills out on the top we have to copy it down to the bottom. So now choose your illustration, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. This will make an exact copy on top of the original, as you see right here. Now because the canvas is 500 by 500 pixels, we have to move the skull exactly 500 pixels down. So now, while having the object selected, go to transform, go to the Y axis and type in plus 500 pixels. Now this illustration is copied to the bottom right here. And then we can do some adjustments in the middle. If you want to move, one of the objects you have copied, you will have to move them both at the same time. So if you want to move the skulls, you have to select them both. And now you can move them freely. So now because everything is spilling out on the left side too, we have to copy all the objects to the right side as well. So select all the objects, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now we have some copied objects on top of the originals. We want to move these copies 500 pixels to the right. So once again, go to transform and this time go to the X axis and type in plus 500. Now these two sides are done. Then we want to do the top and the bottom. So now you can fill the top in with copies of your objects. Make sure they spill out just a little bit over the top. And because they spill out on the top, we need to copy those to the bottom as well. So select the objects, go to edit, Go to copy, go to edit again and paste in front. Go to transform and move these copies on the Y axis plus 500 pixels. Now all the sides of the canvas are filled out. And now as mentioned before, if you want to move one of these objects, you have to move the copied one as well. So if I want to move this pumpkin, I have to move this pumpkin as well. So just select both and you can move them freely. The reason why we want to copy them to the other side is that the part of the object that is cut out right here is the part that is inside the canvas over here. This is what makes the pattern seamless. So now you can fill out the middle freely and you don't have to worry about copying anything. And also you can scale up and down the objects just as you want. For the sake of this video, I will keep it simple and just copy the objects. So now with the middle filled out, select all the objects, go to object and go to expand. Expanding your objects will sometimes save you from some issues when doing your patterns. Now go to your layers panel and create a new layer. Then toggle off the visibility of the layer with your objects. Now on the empty layer, draw a square that is the same size as your canvas. Mine is 500 by 500 pixels, so the square needs to be this as well. Now make sure the square aligns exactly with your canvas. Then unselect the fill if you have one. We only need the bounding box. Now toggle back the visibility of the layer with the objects and select everything, including the bounding box that you just made. Now go down to your Pathfinder menu. If you don't have it right here, go to Window and go to Pathfinder right here. Now in the Pathfinder menu, click Crop. Now it's much easier to see that everything that is cropped out right here is repeated over here. 
So now you can click and drag your pattern swatch over to your swatch panel. And here's your new pattern swatch. So now you can delete this one and draw any shape you want. And fill it out with your pattern swatch. Now if you scale the box, the pattern will be distorted, as you see right here. The easy fix for this is just click once again. And if you want to scale up the pattern inside the shape, you right click, go to transform and go to scale. From here click off transform objects and click on preview. And now you can just scale them exactly as you want. If you want a background color for your pattern swatch, the easiest way is to just put it below the pattern. You can do this the easy way by just selecting the shape with your pattern. Go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Now give this copy a color instead of the pattern. If you want to learn how to draw one of these illustrations, you can watch the tutorials on my channel or click the links in the right side of the video.